it's kind of common stuff. Uh, yes, I'd like to, to question uh, who's uh, gaining from this pipeline coming through our part of the country because I'm 60 years old and there's been a pipeline that's less than a half a mile from my granddad's farm. And uh, as far as I know, nobody ever received any money from this pipeline going through that part of the country. Uh, anyone who has a pipeline that crosses their, their property usually has to negotiate an easement with the company. Um, and usually with those easements come some form of financial compensation. Um, and it, even if you can't, you know, just, it's, financial compensation gets worked out somewhere or another with an easement negotiation. And you know, even though there may be end users who benefit at the end of the line in Florida, um, people who do get crossed by that property have some sort of compensation. Kevin, I'll be happy to answer questions. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we'll take more process questions after. Um, I don't want to, you know, cut you guys off on your questions. I want to answer them. But I do want to get to, you know, what everyone came in here to sign up for. Um, so I'm going to turn things over to Mitch to do a very, very brief uh, discussion of the project.